that's just how college football really is. Anybody can be beat any day. So I think we came out here expecting, you know, for things to go our way, and unfortunately it didn't. So, you know, we played, you know, we improved on our play, our secondary play a little bit better, but at the end of the day, we lost the game, so we got a lot of work to do. Joe on your right. Coach, what was that? Is he? You guys, I mean, they have scored 34 points, but you had a lot of success. I mean, they only scored two touchdowns in their five red zone trips. Uh, you know, coming into the into the game, what what did you guys know defensively you wanted to, to accomplish, and what do you think that you did accomplish? Well, one of our models, you know, uh, on defense is make them snap the ball as many times as possible. Uh, you know, we preach that. Where everyone, we're all, you know, 19, 20, 21 years old, you know, we're bound to make mistakes. No one out here is professional. No matter how good you are, you're still bound to make mistakes. You all still deal with the same problems, class, and all this stuff. So, you know, we just, on our de on defensively, we just feel as though we can make them slap the ball as many times as possible and just make them line up and earn every down they get. Uh, I think usually, you know, things usually go that way. Uh, you know, unfortunately, it didn't go that way today, but, you know, I think that's a positive thing I think we did today, especially in the red zone. Steve in the back on the left. Zaire, Zaire back here. Uh, obviously, know you're disappointed with the loss, but you go into the bye week three and one. You know, competitive loss to LSU. You get a week off now. Can you give us some idea where where the confidence of this team is collectively? Again, three and one. This is about, I guess, the best that people thought you would be going into the bye week. Could you talk about your confidence a little bit? Um, really, I would say the confidence of our team. Is unchanged. Uh, if anything, is is ganged a little bit because I feel as though, um, you know, talking to the guys in the locker room right after you know the final whistle, and we were just talking about you know how small a margin of victory really is. Like you know, any given Sunday, you know, you can look at. I look at this game that I think about last week when we played Central Michigan. We very easily could have lost that game if a couple things didn't go our way, but they fortunately did. I felt the same thing can be said about LSU today. You know. Did it go to overtime or final seconds, Hail Mary, all that nonsense? No. But at the same time, throughout the course of the game, just a few plays here and there, maybe three or four, that it just went a different way or fit a different couple of ways, different, whatever, you know, things could have went differently. So I think, you know, heading into the bye week and, you know, in South Florida, we just got to focus on being the little things. You know, I feel like we were, we were really close today and, you know, so we're close to where we want to be as a team. And I feel like we get a little bit healthy. I think, you know, we're, we're Irv and, you know, a couple, hopefully a couple of people come back or, or not. But definitely, I think we just need to work on the little things. I think we'll be where we want to be.